Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install LWJGL under Eclipse using Gradle. So the first thing I'm going to create a folder on my desktop and this will be the workspace, Eclipse workspace. So I'm going to name it just uh, uh, test space or workspace workspace and I'm going to create another folder and this folder will contain the project itself so I'm going to name it test um, LWJGL so I'm using Eclipse Photon I already have opened it so here I have a, wor a workspace but I'm going to switch to that new workspace I created on my desktop so here uh, if you go to file switch workspace other um, browse and go to desktop and here's a test workspace I'm going to select this folder and launch so Eclipse restarts itself wait for a few seconds seconds now we have a fresh and newly created Eclipse workspace an empty workspace and the next thing I'm going to do is go to the lwjgl.org website and go to the customize not the download but the customize customize tab and here you will see the mode we have Maven, Gradle and Ivy I'm using Gradle so just select this one uh, select your platform I'm using Windows and for the language I'm going to use Groovy and I'm also for the presets I'm selected everything and for the add-ons I'm, I'm added the Jomel which is an uh, a linear algebra matrix and vector uh, library for Java. So I'm using version 3.2.0 and here is the Gradle script or the Groovy script. You can copy this but the easiest way to download is here here you have the download build at Gradle so just click on it and download it and it downloads to your default download folder here it is build.gradle I'm going to cut this out and go to the test lwjgl folder and put it here before I ec import this gradle file into the Eclipse workspace I'm going to open it up using sublime and to the first line I'm going to add the following command apply plugin colon java so don't forget to add this line here because without this line uh, it won't work at least it didn't work for me so save this and exit uh, sublime and now go back to Eclipse and go to file import here is the Gradle existing Gradle project next next project root directory browse and go to that uh, folder uh, which is test dash lwjgl select it and select folder and finish and now in the lower right corner you will see that it synchronizes a Gradle project and the percentage so loading track blah 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 and it finished now it we have here a, a Gradle project and it automatically installed all the system libraries and all the external dependencies 
So if you open this, you will see that we have here all the LWJGL libraries. And the next thing, just to test if it works, click on the root uh, folder and right click new and create a source folder, not a folder, but a source folder. I'm going to name it SRC for source. And into this folder, if you, if you go back to the lwjgl.org to get started, you have this sample project here. So I'm going to, oops, I'm just going to copy this and here in the source folder I'm going to create a new Java class. I'm going to name it hello world and finish and just paste everything what I copied from the website and let's try to run it as a Java application and OK and we have an LWJGL window created, easily created. Here it also prints the version which is 3.2.0 build 12 and in the case you want to know uh, as far as I know Eclipse comes pre-installed with the Gradle plugin but if not if you have, have an Eclipse without the Gradle you can go to help and uh, Eclipse marketplace wait while, while it loads and go to the installed tab here and you will see that if you don't have Gradle uh, installed it won't show you. Uh, in that case you can go to search and search for Gradle and go and here it is build chip Gradle integration but it says I already have installed it so installed. So I'm going to create another video, uh, second part where I'm going to install LWJGL under IntelliJ IDEA. So until then, thanks for watching and have a nice day.